What is up everyone, El Pro. In this video, I get to review some AirPods Pro. Not just any AirPods Pro, one of these is fake, so it would be this one, I believe. Yes. So this is a fake AirPods Pro, and this is the real one. I bought this one, and received this one, approximately two weeks since I did my first unboxing video, which if you would like to see that video and just kind of get some context before you begin watching my review, you can go ahead and check it out up here. There's a link up here. And that should take you to my video where I unboxed them and just kind of was drooling over the fact that I had some AirPods. But today I get to talk about using them. Now, over the, these two weeks, I've kind of gathered, you know, some information and just kind of seen what these are like to use. Now, this video isn't going to be too scientific. I'm not going to be, you know, showing you all the metrics I use to measure, you know, the performance of both of these AirPods. But I'm going to just kind of go ahead and talk about my experience in just using both of them because I've been using them on both devices, uh, Android and an iPod right here. So this is a 7th generation iPod. This was a device used to test both of these in, you know, basically what would be an iPhone. So instead I use this. And then I use an LG V40, which you're watching the video on. So I can't really show you that phone. But basically I use that to review both of them as well. So I guess let's begin by talking about my first impressions with these AirPods. Alright, so some of my early impressions with you know unboxing both of these airpods just kind of immediately i noticed how much better put together the real ones are i just kind of took a look at them and realized that they are doing you know they're relatively well built as you can see the button is not is flush with the case you can't see it whereas with the fake one it's pretty much there you can really feel it and it, you can feel it with your finger as well if you swipe on them whereas with this it's not really the case. I mean, a little bit, but it's much more flush. And one thing I kind of wanted to report on, especially on the fake AirPods, because, you know, I've been using these, is just kind of how the wear and tear has held up on these. Now, I'm going to show you a picture on the screen right now, and this is a picture I took approximately three days after using them. And starting to, and these, this picture kind of demonstrates, you know, the lack of quality. Just the quality control is no good. And as you might be able to see on the video right here, the one of the fake grills is starting to come off yeah look at that see this grill is starting to come off and honestly these are getting kind of uncomfortable especially because of that so there's that it's just these airpods are not holding up very well already and maybe you can use that to tell that they're fake but anyways when it came to my iOS experience honestly it was pretty cool I like the magic pairing feature that's kind of one of the things that I like the most you know when you get your battery percentage and stuff the other thing is the stems. Honestly, the stems are just, they work. They, 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 were, they weren't the best. I'm not going to say that they were the best because sometimes they wouldn't respond, but most of the time they did. The ear sensor is like where, when you can take out these headphones out of your ears and it will stop playing. Yeah, that works pretty well too. As for real streaming apps like SoundCloud, it works pretty well. I'm not going to lie. You know, I, I was using SoundCloud. Now my other problem with SoundCloud is it's kind of compressed, but that's okay. The headline feature of these headphones though, which would be the noise cancelling, works fantastic. Now the way I decided to test this was I decided to walk down a busy boulevard. Lots of cars, you know, loud cars. You know, basically it's a really rowdy environment. So I decided to break out these AirPods and try the noise cancelling and I gotta say it's pretty good. You know, that boulevard was, is, was really crowded, especially on a Sunday night when all the people like to go out and cruise for some reason with their loud vehicles and honestly I could barely hear them now there's some that could go through my headphones but most of them when you know the light turned red I couldn't hear anything and that was a little bit dangerous I'm not gonna lie because you know maybe what if someone you know tries to drive over you you might not hear them but you, transparency mode works too you know you can just fire up the transparency mode and you'll be able to hear outside of your headphones which is pretty nice I don't think I've ever used any other headphones that have that. As for the battery life, honestly, I can't really comment on the battery life too much because I didn't use them long enough. So they didn't never die on me. So maybe that's good. But according to my brother, which was also using these, they do actually last the five hours that Apple advertises, or is it four and a half or something like that. But for him, it did last the full five hours. So that was pretty cool. And when it comes to the form factor, honestly, I, I gotta say, they're not bad. I, I was kind of expecting it to lose these relatively quickly because, you know, these are small. So here's my hand for comparison. 
and here's an iPod Touch for comparison. This thing is small. But I have to say, the case does do a good job of just keeping them, you know, in place. When you never you don't use them, you just kind of throw them in here. Anyways, the, the case really did do a good job of keeping me, keeping these AirPods together and just making sure that I don't lose them. That was kind of a big concern. You know, I was one of the ones who kind of propagated those memes of, oh, AirPods are going to be lost. But not anymore, honestly. Now that I've used them, it's not a big deal. The coolest thing about these headphones, though, I gotta say, right now, flexing on people. Whenever people have their normal AirPods, I just break these out and look at me. I got, you know, I don't speak broke. You know, y'all remember that meme? Yeah, that's, <laughs> I gotta say, I kind of embraced it when I was using these. Even the fake ones did did it for me, honestly. I was just, was like, hey, you know, I don't speak broke. Even with the fake ones, because at first you couldn't quite tell that they were fake. Now you can, you know, as from what I showed you in the beginning. But now, I guess, that's just all I really have to say for the real ones. Or actually, maybe not. Kind of my big problem so far with the fake, well, not the fake ones, the real ones, is they're not loud enough for me. Honestly, I, I feel like they're a little bit on the quiet side. And even if you turn them up all the way, I don't feel like they are loud enough. You know, I just find myself wanting a little more volume, just a little more, you know, so I can hear a little more. So that was kind of a an issue I had and also one of the things I don't quite like about these headphones is the sound signature now if you don't know what that is it's basically like the frequencies a speaker puts out or just doesn't put out or drowns them out one thing I notice is you know as a big bass head you know I have subs in my car and even in my room I was a bit disappointed to find that these don't have very much bass but I mean it's to be expected it's a headphone but in case you're wondering, just kind of the lack of bass, to what extent, it's about 80 hertz, so about 80 hertz and below, it seems to really drown them out. So when I heard my, you know, when I was listening to rap music, I kind of found out that these don't have them, like, the bass gets kind of drowned out, and that's not particularly something I am fond of, especially from someone who uses a lot of subs, and I'm kind of used to my sub bass. One thing these AirPods really remind me of is honestly mid-range speakers to be honest, like some good mid-range speakers with some nice tweeters on them. That's what these AirPods remind me of. And maybe that's a good or bad thing, but basically I'll, I'll let you build your own judgment out of that. As for transparency mode, it's okay, but I found it to not be necessarily amplified enough, especially when you listen to loud music, it kind of gets like a, it kind of becomes a problem, so you sort of still need to turn your music down. But that's kind of the the story when it comes to transparency mode. I don't think it was loud enough, at least for my liking. I kind of did have trouble still hearing some people. Anyway, that's kind of my experience when it comes to iOS, the good and the bad. When it comes to Android, though, which, you know, you're watching on an Android phone. You're from the camera of an Android phone. So here's another Android device that I'm going to use as a prop instead. So my Android experience was ruined pretty heavily mostly because of the volume issue so I mentioned in before how with iOS with this iPod it wasn't I didn't feel like it was loud enough sometimes you know it was okay the volume is okay but when it comes to Android though that's a whole different story it is so quiet and that's kind of a problem for me because I like to jam out so when it comes to the real AirPods it's just a no-go when it comes to Android but it gets worse actually because they become normal Bluetooth headphones. The stems don't really work. Play pause works, but transparency mode actually does. Noise canceling doesn't, so basically the signature feature of these earphones doesn't work when you're using Android, which is annoying. It just really makes me wonder why I bought them in the first place. If it wasn't for this iPod. Alright, so real quickly here. One thing I forgot to mention is the ear sensors do not work on Android. Further ruining the experience for me at least so when you take these out of your ears when you're using an android phone they will not work they will continue to play and this is kind of a problem considering that they're 204 no 270 dollar headphones that includes tax by the way because it's 20 dollars in tax they're 250 but they're 220 dollars in tax yeah other than that honestly they work fine they don't they're not bad the play pause does work again once again the play pause does work you know, transparency mode also works, so you can basically hear the outside world if you really want to. But the only way to trigger is to hold down the 
stem and then it'll just do like a little like chime and then you can hear outside of the outside world no problem and now let's go ahead and begin to talk about the fake airpods so once again i also use the fake airpods as well with the ipod and the lgv40 that's recording this video so i guess the, the good things about them were they sounded good i almost kind of preferred them over the real ones at first because the bass is a little bit better on these it's not great but it was just a tiny bit better than the real ones they're also much louder both on android and ios which is a big yes because i jam out and i need some loud volume one of the other things i noticed is that they do have real transparency mode if you hold the stem well not if you hold the stem if you set it in ios within the menu the control center you can get real transparency mode and it works it's not bad honestly the other interesting thing that wasn't available with the fake the other fakes before it this these TWS3 pros was you could rename them if you went into your iPod you could actually go into the settings and give them a different name as you can see that they are called fake airpods for me at least so that was pretty cool as well and it's all downhill from here and this is kind of where I'm gonna say bad things so get so let's get ready because there's a lot of them so here's the somewhat chronological order of how stuff went down you know just let's see so the first problem I really had was insufficient power or when the battery's really low on these they act weird and the reason I know this is because some unseen footage of the unboxing video so I'm gonna show you some on some footage I cut out of the original unboxing video all right there we are so ipod touch seventh gen this is like the only ipod that is compatible with airpods the real ones at least i don't know about the fakes but i guess let's find out here you are these are not your airpods that's what my ipod says let's go ahead and focus this camera come on so it says not your airpods airpods not connected to this ipod touch so i guess let's connect and then we're going to hold the button. There we are. And then we're going to go ahead and see them connect. This is taking quite a while. Oh, it failed. I think iOS 13.5 might recognize the fake ones now. now let's go ahead and just try this again. Let's go ahead. And... Now, in there, you may have. I showed you how the, the connect, it failed to connect to them, and that's because the battery was flat. So I had to charge them, and eventually I did get them to work, as you saw in that video. But at first, I didn't get them to work like the first three times, and that was also because I swapped them. Which, as if you're wondering, could you swap these? Absolutely not. The other kind of problem, or pretty major problem, I have with these is charging is kind of weird. If you charge the if you charge them with the AirPods in them, the cable will charge the AirPods only, so you have to actually take them out to charge the case. Which again, that's not how the real ones work. The real ones you just plug them into the charger and it charges everything, which is pretty nice. But given that these are, you know, fake Chinese copies and they probably use a really crappy, you know, battery controller they don't know to switch between the airpods and the case so that was fun i had to unplug or remove the headphones let me unplug oh wow what did, what's happened there i saved it but basically i have to take them out if i want to charge the case which is a big problem well it's not a big problem but it's just kind of annoying you know very first world problem there the other thing i kind of it's kind of a problem is the charge readings are fake so if you try to pair these with the real ones, it will show you some charge. It will show you the charge, you know, readings. But let me just tell you right now, right off the bat, they're absolutely fake. They're not real. How can I prove this? Well, I'm going to just shut it. And just remember this. So it's 99, 52, and 78, or 75. Whoops. I'm going to close them and just open them again. Now they're 123 and, oh, wow, 50%. So as you can see, it's just 100% random. Let's see again. The charging is so, like the charges 
are random. They're not true. Let's see. Come on. One more time. Just 85. Let's see. This is this is acting a bit weird. All right, there we go. 24, 74. So again, these charges are 100% fake. They don't really reflect what's on the AirPods, the fake ones. And this makes it kind of a problem because you do not know if they're actually dead or not. Only if the case begins to blink red. You know, honestly, you it's hard to tell if what real what the real battery is, to be honest. And also, one thing I kind of forgot to mention about the real ones is these are quite comfortable. I, I really liked enjoying them, especially when I changed the tips out. But for some reason, these fake ones are just so uncomfortable. Not only because of the grills that are falling apart, which I already showed you in the beginning of the video, but also because, I don't know, for some reason they just fall out of my ears. They do not stay in. This reminds me of all the in-ear earphones I have used before that basically just fall out of my ears for no reason. And that was kind of annoying, so I just had to keep pushing them into my ears, and that is uncomfortable as fuck, you know. You don't want to be doing that because you could also damage your own ear canals. So that's kind of a bad thing right there. Transparency mode activates randomly. It just kind of turns on if it wants. The other thing I notice is the play pause controls, the stems on the fake ones used to work, but now they just don't. They don't do anything. Another issue I had was there seems to be a ground loop in these earphones. You know, there's so if you don't know what a ground loop is, it's basically when a speaker essentially is ground so essentially when a other when a separate circuit is grounded to a speaker and this makes like a loud whine sound. And if you want to hear it, here you go. Get ready. Yeah, that sound is kind of annoying and that's kind of what happens in I think it was the right one. So in the right one it does that sound. It's very low but it's annoying and that only happens when no, no music is playing so that's one thing I noticed as well and also another kind of dangerous thing about these and not dangerous but probably a little bit hazardous is the ear tips like to come off I actually tried putting on I tried putting on some real ones from the real airpods just to stop this from happening but the bad the fake ones are so badly made that they fall out of your ears into them so this would just this would just come off and just stay in my ear canal and that was a little scary because you don't really want to have plastic foreign bits in your ears. So that was kind of bad. The other thing I noticed is the fake sensors do not work. You know, when it comes to the fake sensors, they can sort of detect when they're in your head and they will play and stop with iOS. Actually with both actually both devices will do this android and ios one thing i forgot to mention was how the ear sensors on the fake airpods pro ruined the experience for me altogether and this is and this is kind of the biggest annoyance i had with them so the the, the these fake ones have a fake uh, some kind of sensor that senses whether or not they're in your ears and to be honest, this never worked from the beginning. It would just randomly get triggered for no reason if I just touched the headphones with my finger. Because again, these would just fall out by themselves. So I would just kind of gently press them back into my ear. That was enough to startle them and basically get the music to stop. And then I had to push them again. And sometimes they would come back. And many times, more often than not, they wouldn't come back. And this just kept happening over and over and over again. And this alone made me very annoyed, and this is kind of why I haven't really used these that much since. Now, a day ago, before making this review, they for some reason decided to work properly, which was a big surprise, considering that I never got these to work properly, and they were always very annoying. But a couple of hours ago, not like, what, like 15 hours ago? These were working well. I was using them to stream some music off my iPod using SoundCloud and they were great, you know. There was no random stopping. Well, there was, but it was very... It was controlled. It was like just three times. It only happened like three different times. So that was cool. But most of the time they don't... The fake head sensors do not work and they will just ruin your experience. So I guess get ready for just random stops. And having to break out your own iPod to get it to play and continue to play. So 
So that was something I really wanted to mention right there. So when it comes to using them on Android, let's see, let's break out my prop phone again. So when it came to using the fake ones on Android, they are much louder, which kind of made me prefer them over the real ones because the real ones are just too quiet on Android. They are not loud enough. I don't know why, but the real ones are much louder. They act more like regular Bluetooth headphones on the on Android. Uh, the stem controls also work. They no longer work because for some reason I think that something in here broke or something because they stopped working all of a sudden. And the playback problem seemed to be less. You know, it didn't seem to be as bad on Android. It would still randomly stop, but it was less on Android. Eventually, it would just settle away. It will settle down and just continue to play normally like normal Bluetooth headphones would. And the same list of problems applies. So everything I said before also applied to Android. You know, the random stopping, the ear tips staying in my ears, you know, the ground loop. Yeah, that was still there. Other observations I notice about these... AirPods are kind of interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and go to a dark room and show you what I observed. Alright, so it is now pitch black dark in here, and this is great because now I get to show you guys a little interesting difference between the AirPods. So I did this in the previous unboxing video, but ultimately I was just kind of sitting there stuttering at myself. This time though, I get to show you another interesting difference that I noticed. The case lights up with the AirPods. So let's see, yeah, no, it's really hard to see, but in real life, I assure you that the case was lit when the LED is lit, so like you can see the case being lit by the LED, whereas the real ones, they do not do that, the, the light is actually focused solely on them, and this kind of is a way to tell that they're fake, because you know, the real ones do not light up the case at all. The light is solely concentrated to this little dot you see on the screen. Whereas the fake ones, see, you can't see this on camera because, you know, my camera can't pick this up. But it does light up the other, well, actually, you can sort of see the halo. But that's because it lights up the case. So all, like, the empty bits inside of this case, all the empty inside bits are lit. And this is a good way to tell if they're fake because, again, from looks, you're not going to be able to tell immediately. But I just wanted to show that real quick here. Okay, so some more interesting observations, in case you're wondering here. Both the fake, so this is the fake right here. Use the real lightning port. So this is a lightning port that I use to charge my iPod. And you can use this to charge the fake AirPods. And the real ones. And my iPod. Okay, there. It's charging. And the iPhone 6. So I have an iPhone 6 here. There we are. So this is a real lightning cable, and it works in the fake ones as well. So I thought that was interesting. You know, something you don't really see every day. Now, whenever the the fake ones run out of battery, so which ones are these? Are not the fakes. So whenever the fake ones run out of battery, one the funny thing I notice is uh, they will say "please charging" in a very funny Chinese female accented voice. So it sounds like a Chinese girl selling "please charging," and I thought that was hilarious the first time I heard it. I was rolling on the ground because they said the these headphones told me "please charging" in a you know, in a Chinese female voice, which, again, the real ones don't do that, they beep. That's what my brother told me, I don't know, because I never killed them. Another interesting thing is the earbuds can be changed. So the ch earbuds can be swapped on both of these, so you can get some real earbuds, put them on the fake ones, and that's what I did, because I got kind of sick of them just kind of falling out, because they would fall out. As you can see now, these don't come off because I use the real ones, and somehow even the real ones are better at staying on. So these are some real AirPod tips. I got these off the Apple box. But anyways, it's another interesting point that uh, or difference that I noticed between these just after the fact that I made the unboxing video is one way I actually use to tell them apart is because the button on the real one is not clicky at all. It's like not very audible. So take a listen here. 
Yeah, you can't hear that click. Yeah, no, it won't pick. So the camera isn't picking it up, I don't believe, but you can't really hear the click, whereas the fake ones make a pretty audible click. And here, I'll show you. Yeah, that's the fake ones for you. And then the real ones again. Yeah, you. I mean, it's super hard to hear. So that's kind of the way, the secret formula that I use to tell the real ones and the fake ones apart. As you can see, I removed the H from them. They're no longer there. So now for some final remarks about these AirPods, my experience with both of them. Now that I have both of them in my possession right here, both of them are in my hands, I can very firmly say the real ones are a little overrated I believe and let me explain so they're very much a fashion accessory you know the pro naming is just mostly for marketing hype it's there's nothing pro about these headphones as you as you know someone who edits their own videos I consider myself more of a prosumer than you know most people and I can't say that these help me with my video editing at all they really don't they're just headphones so I guess maybe Apple tech tech tacking on the name of pro is you know, not exactly good. It's not something I approve. The fakes are a bit expensive. As I probably mentioned in my previous video, these are $60 and they were really sketchy. Because, you know, AliExpress, the page of on AliExpress that announced, you know, not announced, but sold these to me went down pretty much a day later. And I really thought that this was the end and that I, uh, that I was out $60. I was not super good, so that's just one thing if you are considering some fake ones. Get ready for a very sketchy transaction, mostly because the web page may come down a day later. Another thing I noticed is the real AirPods are just car, just let me just say it, hot garbage when it comes to using them on Android. If you buy these solely to use on your Android phone, I, you will be very disappointed. I found out that, you know, again, as I said before, the volume is just not there. There's no noise cancelling. That's just kind of a deal breaker alone. And it also doesn't help that the particular device I use for testing, which is the LG V40 that you're watching this video on, is better equipped for wired headphones since it has a hi-fi DAC in it. So, But essentially what it does is it improves the audio quality of your headphones. So if you wanted to get some better sound quality, I would probably say use an LG V40 with wired headphones. Not with Bluetooth ones. So yeah, again, the the quietness on Android was just kind of a deal, is a very much a deal breaker for me. They're not worth $270. I am honestly going to go as far as to say that, honestly, even on iOS, on iDevices, they are not a good value. The 7th generation iPod represents like the cheapest device that you can use on AirPods. They are fully supported. And they are natively supported. I didn't have to do no modifications to get them to work. And even still, even with the noise cancelling, I kind of don't see what the deal is. Again, I, I've used both of them. The, the real ones. No, these are the fakes and then these are the real ones. I use both of them and honestly, I can't really say I'm impressed with either of them. And I think that both of them are a bad value in my opinion. I would, I would say don't buy either of them if you value your money. If you value... $60 don't buy these fakes because they're crap and don't buy the real ones honestly because if you really want to you could find cheaper alternatives out there all right there we are guys the review of the fake and the real airpods pro honestly this was kind of a fun experiment I didn't really think I would end up doing something like this anytime soon but here I am I have some real ones and some fake ones. These were not easy to obtain. I really did get think did think I got scammed. And as for these, honestly, I wasn't too keen on buying them because the types of things I would spend this kind of money for are not AirPods Pro. So I really kind of had trouble just and now, especially now that I've used them, I especially have trouble justifying them. You know, as these $270 headphones. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a fun experiment, you know, buying some AirPods and doing a proper review. 
If you guys have any suggestions on how I could do reviews better, please let me know. This is the first, my first attempt, and honestly, it, it's so it seems to. It's, I think it's gonna be okay. Maybe the stuttering is a little extreme, but that's kind of besides the point. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you found it entertaining, please support it. And anyways, that's all I got for you today. Peace. Congratulations, if you made it to the end of the AirPods review, I get to give you guys a little sneak peek on what's next. So you know how I said previously that I don't spend big money on, you know, on AirPods, but I do spend big money on things like this. This is a Logitech Z2300 sound system. Oh wow, you can't really see. Let me fix that. There we go. So there's those satellites. And then here's a Logitech Z2300 sub. See, this is the kind of stuff that I would rather spend money on. And I will explain that further in the next video. And also, just for fun, I get to show you a little clip. It's actually pounding on my chest now. I can feel it.